Hey everyone, thanks a lot for stopping by. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to install an internal Wi-Fi card into your PCI slot. I'm gonna do a quick U-bit uh, Wi-Fi card review. Um, this is an internal card. This does not plug into to your USB. Uh, this actually goes straight into your PCI slot. So you're gonna have to open up your computer uh, and install this. I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Uh, the reason you do that is you get a lot better connection to your router um, from these internal cards uh, rather than just the, the USB um, adapters that you can plug into your computer. So um, I'm going to do a quick review of this little U-bit that I bought. Uh, it was like 30 bucks on Amazon. Um, you can see it is uh, capable of doing 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. At 5 gigahertz it is 867 megabytes a second and at 2.4 gigahertz you're looking at 300 megabytes per second. Uh, it also has Bluetooth uh, 4.2 um, which is kind of cool. That's actually what this connector here is for. Um, that plugs into a 9-pin header. Um, I'll show you how to install that as well uh, into your motherboard, uh, which is pretty simple. Uh, plugs into the, right there and then into your motherboard. So it's actually super straightforward. Uh, comes with uh, the two antennas, an installation guide, some screws for your um, PC, which I don't think I'm going to need. Um, also, it comes with a, a, a driver disk, um, but from what I understand, we probably won't need it. I use Windows 10, and, and my understanding is that the drivers will just in, uh, download uh, automatically, so we probably won't need that. Um, it does come with a little screwdriver, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and that, For convenience, if you don't uh, have one of those handy, it will come with that. So um, let's go ahead and uh, jump into the actual installation. Okay, everyone. All right, there's the inside of my PC. Uh, I'm going to ask everybody to reserve judgment. There's probably a little bit of dust. Uh, it's probably about a six-year-old uh, build, and I've kept out as much as I can, and I clean it as much as possible. But over that time, it tends to get a little dirty. Um, so where we're going to install this uh, is right in this PCI slot right there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right next to my video card. Um, I'm going to uh, connect the uh, Bluetooth. So here's the card, here's the Bluetooth. I'm going to go ahead and connect this first before I stick it in there just because I think it's going to be kind of hard to connect this once I get it in there. Uh, so I'm going to connect it right there. Okay, and then let's go ahead and put the card in there. So you're going to want to, uh, if you got one of these guys in here, uh, you're going to want to unscrew it right here and then take this out. Um, because the antennas are going to stick out probably the back of your computer on my computer is actually out the top um, but this is where it's going to come out at right here so you want to line that up right there and then you want to put the card into the slot push it down real gentle make sure it goes in the slot there we go okay make sure your bluetooth pins are connected and then you're going to want to connect the, uh, the Bluetooth into a 9-pin header uh, for USB, which mine is right here. It's this red guy. Uh, so you're going to want to make sure that the holes line up. And then just push that in gently. I should say, too, um, before you start installing any of this stuff, its, it's components can be sensitive. Uh, so you want to make sure and touch the metal part of your PC to kind of ground yourself. Um, make sure that you discharge any static electricity so you don't fry anything. Okay, once you get that in there, um, you're going to want to put the screw back in. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the, the screwdriver that they supplied. This will just make sure that it stays in place. I used to have um, two video cards in this computer. That's why these ones are removed. Tighten that down. Okay, so now your card is installed. Um, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, attach the, um, these guys here, the antennas. Okay, so I flipped my computer up. Um, like I said, for most people, um, these will probably be poking out of the back of your computer. Uh, with my case, it actually pokes out the top. Uh, so let's go ahead and just, all you do is screw these in gently. Like 
so. And then the best place um, for your antennas is just kind of point them in the direction of your router um, and to wherever your house is. Uh, the reason I, I bought this card is um, me and my wife are starting to work from home um, in our office. So we needed to clear our personal computers uh, out and move it into the basement. Um, so we wanted to get an internal card so it got better reception down there uh, instead of just a normal little USB adapter. Um, so I've actually been using this already. Um, I, I took it apart and wanted to reinstall it for you guys so you could see it. Um, we've been getting awesome reception with it downstairs in our basement, which we've got about a 3,000 square foot house. And the, the, our computer room where our router is, um, is literally in the opposite end of the house. Uh, in, in the, the, the main PC is in the basement. Uh, we've been getting great reception with it. We haven't had any disconnects or uh, anything like that. So um, I'll go ahead and set this back up and uh, show you guys kind of uh, what happens and, and show you how good of uh, a connection we're getting. All right, so fire up your computer. Um, what you'll see is that little guy there. Um, you won't be connected to the internet yet, um, but if you bring this up, you should be able to see your internet connections. Those two are mine. I got the 2G and the 5G. Uh, so click on it. It'll probably ask you to put in your password, so make sure you know that. Um, but then it should connect pretty quickly. There you go, connected. So let's go ahead and jump over to uh, a speed test. Okay, so here's speedtest.net. Let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. I have a uh, 200 megabyte per second connection. So let's see what we get up to here with this Wi-Fi card. So there's my download, 134. I've, I've tested it up to 150, 160. Um, so that's still not bad though. That's going to serve basically everything that I need. So, And then there's the upload, 19.71. All right, guys, so there you go. That's the uh, UBIT uh, internal PCI Wi-Fi card. Um, I hope you uh, found this review and installation uh, helpful. Uh, if so, make sure to give the video a like, and uh, if you want, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, thanks a lot, and I hope you have a great day.